My expertise is in the area of symbolic machine learning, which is a particular type of machine learning developed recently, which has been bringing quite new results in the field at the moment. There are three main characteristics of uh, symbolic machine learning, uh, which are very useful for humans when they use them, these systems in their decision making. So one is the ability to learn from few data. Two is the ability to learn um, sort of predictive model that can be explained in English to humans. And three is the ability to learn from human feedback. What is actually different is the fact that they are capable of learning predictive models from few data. So they don't need a large quantity of data in order to extract very accurate, high level predictive models. Deep learning and statistical machine learning are on one hand very good at processing a large quantity of data and be able to uh, classify or solve very specific tasks. On the other hand, symbolic machine learning is exactly the other side of the coin. So the type of AI system and machine learning system that don't need a large quantity of data in order to learn high level decision making models. An example in which a symbolic AI can be used is in urban mobility. Every day we want to go from a point A to B in a city. We don't know exactly what is the best way to go from A to B. The way in which this AI system underneath the provided suggestions are with very general criteria. So for instance, uh, shortest path, uh, you know, avoid tools, payment, things like that. So we develop uh, systems that allow AI to learn the preference model of the specific individual. So this kind of system embedded in our daily life, in our app, can help us making decisions which are more suitable to our own needs. And we were in fact able to demonstrate that we can auto-perform machine learning in terms of providing recommendations that are truly personalized. Because the symbolic AI is capable of learning predictive models from pure data, they can actually extract this general model from observing human behaviors. And they can learn preference models of humans in a much more accurate way because they are capable of learning from fewer examples of the human behavior. Machine learning, on the other hand, such as deep learning, need a large quantity of data. And naturally, this becomes non-personalized because uh, this will be data that represent uh, the behavior of the population or the behavior of a large quantity of people rather than individual behavior. What is important is that business people and academics together explore the potentials that this uh, symbolic machine learning system and AI can provide to the business uh, activity in general. Is this a kind of collaborative uh, work uh, that is essential at the moment for symbolic AI to uh, find its own path uh, in, the, in the future?